Bungie loves trains here. Now in honour of the triple sevens and hopefully being able to ride a few today, I'm going to be visiting seven random stations on the Mersey Rail network. So I went on to the online random station generator thingy my Bobby and it selected seven random stations for me to visit. Now because this is my channel, I make up the rules and I've decided to, uh, just to make it a little bit easier to get around the network today, just switch the order of the stations ever so slightly like I say just just to make it a bit more reasonable um, of a route so yeah I'm just at Chester station at the moment waiting for my first train to come in I'm very excited for this all right I've just been another wee before I'm um, starting my riding with Mersey Rail I'm on platform 7 waiting for the next train to come in now I am hoping it's going to be a triple seven buzzy B because I think it is mostly peps that still do this line but I know that at some point um, in the past year they have introduced triple sevens to the Wirral line <laughs> All right, the first train has turned out to be a pet. It's 5.07.017 and I got on this unit just in time uh, before it absolutely just started to hammer it down with hailstone. Luckily, it looks as though it's stopping now. Um, I am on this train for about 16 minutes now as the first random station um, that was generated for me to go to was Eastham Break. I have decided to do the random stations on the Wirral line first and then a little bit later on in the day I will change and do the stations that have come up on the northern line. <laughs> Here I am at Eastern Rake. I have of course been to all the stations in Merseyside and all the stations in the Northwest. But I do remember when I was here last time. I didn't really do much, like there isn't really anything to go to outside of the station. I do remember the um, actual entrance to the station being quite lovely though, so I might if I have time go and um, just have a little look at that. Yep, a really nice front there. I have noticed this time being here that we've got quite a few smashed windows um, on this waiting shelter here. And Eastern Rake, of course, is a Mersey Rail only station. It's got two platforms. And as for the services, um, they do run between Liverpool Central and Chester slash Ellesmere Port. Um, and they are every 50 minutes on a weekday and every half an hour on a Sunday. But that frequency does apply to all the stations that I'm going to be visiting today. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd say that now rather than just repeat my myself constantly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very happy to be uh, riding a Buzzy B again. I can't actually believe this is only the second time I've actually ridden a 777, uh, but it is 777012. And the next station I'm going to is West Kirby. Um, obviously, you can't get a direct train from Eastern Rate to West Kirby, so I'm going to be getting two trains to get there. But yeah, I'm going to really enjoy this ride. <laughs> Oh yeah, I found out recently as well that Green Lane and Bromber Rake have had their full service reinstated, so that's great to hear. Alright, I'm at Hamilton Square and um, this isn't a station that I'm actually like visiting today, it's just where I'm changing over. I'm actually not too sure how long I've got before the train to West Kirby. So yeah, let's uh, cross the platform and find out. I've got Lucy with me so um, she's leading the way because <laughs> I have no clue where we're going. Where's the downwards escalator here? All right, luckily uh, the next train to West Kirby was slightly delayed so uh, yeah, just made it in time to catch this one. Two weeks. Oh, zero. Five eight one one four has brought me to the terminus of West Kirby. You can catch a train here to Liverpool Central. It's got two platforms on an island platform, and it's run by Mersey Rail. And when you're at West Kirby, you put your knickers on your edge. You put your knickers on your edge. You put your knickers on your edge. When you're at West Kirby, you put your knickers on your edge, and you shout, Squishy Baby! West Kirby for Marine Lake and Hilborough Island. I wonder where that is. It's got to be said, it's always sunny in Merseyside. I can't be in Merseyside without saying that because it's true. Yeah, sun's always out, in it? Uh, I'm just headed to the beach, going to spend a little bit of time there. And the view right now, walking down here. Gee, that's a really beautiful view. 
Oh, it's really windy down here on the beach today. Um, Lucy has just pointed out what Hilbert Island is. It's that island that you can see right there. You can also see um, North Wales over there. And we've got a rainbow. Right on the next train now, it's 5.07.020. Am I on a squeaky seat? Yes, I am. Uh, hello, Buzzy B. I am on this train for half an hour, I think it is now. down in the scurry mersey rail tunnel now i'm at moorfields now this is um, actually one of the random stations that i am visiting today it is a mersey rail run station it's got three platforms yes three would you believe and you can literally go to any destination you so wish on either the wirral or the northern lines from this station changing now from the Wirral line onto the Northern line and that's usually what I do to be fair when I uh, actually come to more fields. Just notice on these escalators as well there's no posters up at the side of them. This looks a really odd angle. <laughs> I didn't actually know which of the two stations out of for Zachary and Old Road I would be going to next. I just said whichever train pulls up the first, I will get on that. And it's turned out it is an Omskirt one that's pulled up, and it is a triple seven triple seven zero zero seven. So I am off to Old Road now. random station number four out of seven it is old rome to be honest i couldn't quite remember what this station looked like but as soon as i stepped off the train then i did immediately recognize it there's a blackpool tower over there um, old rome it does have two platforms it's served by mersey rail and the ormskirt to liverpool services um serve the station <laughs> So what I've decided to do is actually, instead of getting two trains to go to Fazakli and it taking pretty much the same amount of time, I'm actually going to walk between Old Road and Fazakli. Just passing over at Leeds Liverpool Canal. All right, I've made it to Fazakli. That walk, it did take about 50 minutes, to be honest. But again, Fazakli is a Mersey Rail only station and it does have two platforms. We've got trains serving this station that go from Liverpool Central to either Kirby or the new Headbolt Lane station. Where are we, love? We're at House of Curly. Oh my days, it's really just starting to pale so Jeez. <laughs> What was it? Alright, I'm on 777014. What is it? <laughs> Alright, I'm on 777142. The next station I'm going to is Cressington. Uh, so again, I do have to get two trains. This time I'm going to be changing at Liverpool Central. The next station stop will be Sand Hill. Please change here for services to Southport. And all right i'm at liverpool central now and it's a really easy change over this i think i've got about 10 minutes until the next train but the next train is uh, pulling into platform one which i'm already on and here it is getting on 507018 back to the pets again two second plates at all three of us once again walking away which you look back so, the announcements keep saying we're approaching St. Michael's, even though we've already just called up St. Michael's. We're actually at Aigburth, and uh, Mersey Rail still need to like work on moving Aigburth a little bit further back, I think. I'm at Cressington now with this beautiful grey two listed building here. I have been here a few times before now usually I do go to the Aldi here but there's no time to do that today because um, I've got a very quick change over plan like literally three minutes. So as you can tell I am just immediately making my way across to the other platform and Cressington does have two platforms. Um, I think I hit my train actually and it's run by Mersey Rail. 
All right, that was a very fast changeover indeed, but we are off now. Um, I'll admit I didn't get the number of this unit as well because the train was also pulling in as I was uh, going down the steps then. So yeah, I'll have to get that when I do get off. But I will enjoy this ride because um, it is down what has to be my favourite Mersey Rail line. The unit was 508 141 and that has brought me to the final station that I am visiting today and that is Seaforth and Liverland. It has been a while since I've been to this station. It does have two platforms on an island platform and of course it's run by Mersey Rail. The trains I call here do run the hunts across the Southport services and uh, when I stepped off the train here it did just start raining. It has stopped now so hopefully um, it holds off during the rest of my time here. Okay, so I'm not just hanging around the station this time, I am off for a walk. I do love going to parks and we've not had a park so far today, but it won't stay like that for long because I'm off to a park. I did see on maps there is one like a 15 minute walk away. There is a big puddle. The park is called Rimrose Valley Country Park. Just making my way underneath a railway bridge. Not sure if you can actually get to the park this way. Some very interesting graffiti on the, uh, the walls there. Well, what a day. I've really enjoyed that. I love coming to these random stations. I do get such a buzz out of it. And um, I tell you what, the random station generator has done a brilliant job today. It's proper sent me all over the place on the Mersey Rail network. And of course, I got to ride a load of 777 Buzzy Bees. And you know what? It's about time I did so. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Buzzy Bees!